Hey. I'm working. No, I'm done with work. I'm kidding. So this is mm, a few questions also that I wanted to ask all of you in regards to being an empath, right? Whoever, those of you that are maybe light workers also or very spiritual and feel like you are on the right path. Um, yes, I love filters. <laughs> I love it. It's so cool. Like white hair, <laughs> basically. Um, so as a light worker, as an empath, what do you, uh, what overwhelms you? Um, like, okay, for me, it's loud music, loud places, you know, too much frequency too much of that kind of frequency and and vibrations that can really drain me uh large crowds i wrote it all down large crowds toxic energies like low vibrational energies you know places like that um over excitement like getting over excited and um such as a very hectic day or busy busy day but a lot of things just going on at the same time and then you get overexcited maybe at night you can't sleep that's the kind of thing that may overwhelm an empath or a spiritual person right uh, you know what i'm not too fond of small talk like small talk as in just mundane things you know we usually like things of essence things that will really get us going as for me as in for me you know astrology <laughs> oh my eye went crazy um astrology <laughs> things that have to do with signs and astrology and things like that okay so then what you may not tolerate and catch right away narcissism fake people materialistic people liars mm -hmm. so we don't like that and we catch it right away how about other things, what do you think? What kind of things do you think as an empath or a spiritual person um, may trigger us and get us going and, you know, just not send us off the deep end, but kind of like not agree with our energy, with the level of spirituality that we may have, right? You tell me. Mm, surprise me. Bye. I think I'll dye my hair light blue. Huh? It looks pretty cool, huh? I like it. Hey.